Hi guys, I will teach you how to use Visio to join data model. You need to go to the Blackboard first to download the CTTS milestone for first. Go to CTTS case milestone and download CTTS milestone data modeling. And then go through all of things uh, the document show you and see the interview of the document provide to you and see what we need to do. I'm gonna teach you how to download the VMware for MacBook. Go to desktopsafic.edu and choose install VMware and go to find the VMware client for Mac and go to download. Because of my cannot use Visio, so we need to use the desktop to open the software. So we need to download the VMware first and log into the uh, Safic desktop. After you install it, you just open the VMware first. After you open it, you will need a new serve and you need to in enter the name of connection serve is desktop.suffix.edu and you click the connect and then you use your student ID and student uh, password to log into your to the desktop. Now we're just waiting for the desktop is ready. So now it's ready and I go to search for the VCL. Just tap the VCL into the search box and open the VCL 2013. And now software is open, so we can use search box to search database. Now we choose database notation for the notation which we used. Double click it. After you finish your entity definition, we can begin to join the data model. Drag a entity to the blank area and then change the entity name to work record. Drag a new entity to the blank area and then change the entity name to service request. Drag a new entity change the name to Client. and then a new one to configuration. We need to add five more entities. There is equipment, equipment tab, component tab, inventory, equipment component. And after you add five more entities, we can begin to do the relationship part. You don't need to afraid about the entity out of the blank, uh, blank area. It will automatically resize it. Okay, now I'm finished to add the entities, all of the entities here 
and we begin to add the relationship. Okay, we can drag a relationship line to the blank area and then drag the two point of relationship line to the entities. When you do the relationships, you need to wait for the entity box outlier turn to green. And when it turns to green, it will automatically uh, connect it. It is really useful because when you resize the entity box or when you move it, the relationship line will move it together. But if you don't wait for the entity all are turn to green, it will not move it together. I try to add all of the relationships between each entities and make sure it is connected to the box of the entities. After we finish all of the relationship lines, the first part of this homework is finished. Let's save it. Go to File, choose Save As, and choose PDF, and choose the area what, where you want to save, and type the file name, and click Yes. Now let's begin to do the second part of the homework, let's join the key-based data model. So the key-based data model is uh, add, to, add the primary key to each different entities. The primary key is special relational database table column designed to uniquely identify all of the table record. So every primary key is a unique value for every table. Add primary key for different entities. When you want to search data in the database, the primary key will be really useful for you to search it because primary key is unique. It cannot duplicate in the database. For example, the student ID is the primary key for every, every student in the database of Suffolk University. When you insert your student ID into the database of Suffolk University, it will only show one person. Now I finish all of the primary key for each entity, so let's save as PDF. And it's same with the first document you saved before. And just have the field name you want. And click Save. Now we finish the key-based data module. And we will begin to do the fully attribute data module. For the fully attribute data module, we need to insert all of the attribute name for each entity. And we also need to add the foreign keys for each entity. For the foreign key, it is used to link different table and it refers to the primary key in another table. Now I'm working at insert attribute name in each entity. I 
I just separate the normal attribute name and the foreign key to different box. But if you want to separate all of the attribute name, you can add the attribute name box as much as you want. This part is a little bit longer, so let's listen to the music for a while. This is the last one we need to fill the attribute name now and I think we're almost finished. Let's save as the document as PDF, like the first one and the second one, and change the file name to whatever you want and save it. Okay, that's all I want to teach you. Thanks for watching. Bye.